Hi, I'm Linda Moran. I'm the Executive Director of the Islip Arts Council. For over 45 years, the Islip Arts Council has been a cultural beacon, offering a broad spectrum of arts experiences to the community. As 2021 comes to an end, please consider donating to the Islip Arts Annual Appeal. We've achieved so much in these turbulent times. Just listen and look at all that we have done. Once COVID closed down the in-person artistic expression, we organized a virtual exhibition with the Islip Art Museum that had almost 600 entries across New York State. The event even won a Long Island Press Club Award, and we're so proud. Our subsequent virtual exhibition received national attention. Art fans from California to Virginia now know how creative we are right here in Islip. This summer, our members inaugurated the art gallery at the Westfield South Shore Mall. The increased foot traffic led to increased sales and an increase in our service to the entire community. Our Veterans Project helped bring awareness to PTSD. The Bombazo celebrated Puerto Rican and Afro-Latino culture during Hispanic Heritage Month. Students from Brentwood and Central Islip performed before a huge crowd. In September, we opened the Long Island Authors Group Bookstore, the only independent bookstore in Suffolk County, and it has given local writers unprecedented exposure. Tell me quick, ain't love a kick in the head. Music returned to our parks with our Concert by the Bay series at the Long Island Maritime Museum. The Robert David Lyon Gardner series, Art and Music in Historic Homes, filled these local architectural treasures with classical music and art. Recently at the gallery, we hosted the West Islip Symphony Orchestra, and for the holidays, local high school choirs and orchestras will perform for the crowds at the mall. And speaking of high schools, this year's Teenies Celebration of each school district was our most popular Teenies event ever. Being creative is so important to me. It's the one thing that I just love to do and I, I just can't get enough of. I think what the pandemic has done for everyone who loves what I love is make something that we do love so difficult because we're not able to share in interests that other people have with us and to share our talents with our families and friends too. I feel so blessed and so thankful to have given them this opportunity because like we've been saying from the beginning, they're like, can we do something? Can we do something? It's just the camaraderie, it's the community, it's being here in a place that's brought us such joy. So yes, I was ready for you, but not ready for this. Now I'm gonna play two hands with the enhanced left hand. And our online masterclasses have allowed our members to be creative and stay inspired safely at home. We haven't done an annual appeal in over two years. A recent study by Americans for the Arts stated that every dollar that goes into the arts produces six dollars to local economies. Your generous contribution will support future cultural programming and help our communities recover through the arts. On behalf of the staff and trustees of the Islip Arts Council, thank you for your support.